Millions of Americans are prescribed aspirin to help ward off heart attacks and strokes. But doctors say it doesn't work for many patients because they're resistant to the drug and don't even know it. Now doctors have a new test to make sure your aspirin therapy works for you. CBS 11's Maria Arita has tonight's medical alert. Jimmy Graham has diabetes and high I'll blood pressure, aspirin. putting him at higher than normal risk for a heart attack. He takes aspirin to help minimize that risk. I was taking uh, one baby aspirin a day. Then Jimmy learned that dosage wasn't enough to help keep his heart healthy. How did he find out? A new urine test called Aspirin Works can tell doctors if the dosage is working and whether a patient is aspirin resistant. I take two a day now. Traditionally, cardiologists have used blood tests but say they're complicated and expensive. Preventive medicine experts say the new test is simpler, costs less, and gives indications of resistance sooner than other tests. When I find a patient who's aspirin resistant, I'll increase their dosage in small increments. The test works by measuring a specific chemical in your urine. This chemical shows the stickiness of your platelets, the smallest circulating cells in the blood. When platelets stick together, they form clots, which can cause a heart attack. Aspirin makes them less sticky. This test determines if platelets are still too sticky after a patient has been on aspirin. I'll recheck in a month or so and see what their aspirin urine test shows. And if it's again showing resistance, then I'll increase to 325 milligrams of aspirin before I repeat the test. Experts say that 25% of aspirin therapy patients are resistant, and they are three times more likely to die from heart disease than non-resistant patients. Have you had any symptoms of chest pain or discomfort? Jimmy's doctor is monitoring him to make sure he's on the right track to a healthy heart. People with elevated cholesterol may have a greater incidence of aspirin resistance than individuals with lower cholesterol. If you've increased your dosage and aspirin still doesn't work, talk with your doctor about other drug options. In the studio, Maria Arita, CBS 11 News.